Place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. She's sweet, There you are, Abe. I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. You speak with some sadness. Has your time here always been tragic? There have been tears, but also great passions. Love, foolishness, regret. Yet, is that not all lives? The best lived of them? And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. I was there. I saw it. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane, though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be, but I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah, it must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force of persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. Not charity. Hello. Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolla. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estra sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. 
No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! We found your camp, Dane! Your friends are all trussed up! No one's help you now! Your warriors are lodging under our lock and key! Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Avon of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. Saxon bastards! Rollo the imprudent! I'll show them! I'll be Rollo the Gelda soon enough! I'll Rollo the Screamer if you don't keep it down. Was it you who gave Ivar the Boneless his name? I hear talk of his deeds around the campfire, but his name I never understood. He was boneless before I met him. Now he's bones on a pyre. That's all I know for sure. And King Alfred? Can you imagine their king in the sky blanket tear sands our lands? He'd be bluer than my father on nights the meat is strong. He'd fall asleep in the snow with a dog keeping him warm. Ah, this talk makes me long for the old times. The good old times. Venite odoremus et adecamerum, eritis et fidem, dus et vos interam et proviterum. I'll need some time to collect more information.
people bound. It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Gerhild, is it? Aye. Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him? You weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rollo's favorite. Who are you to Rollo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy. But of Estrid or Rollo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. That's all for now. Neither betrayed us, Aki. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father <clears throat> well. Seems like Lorik, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. He was tired of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. I should speak to both, and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. I might find some evidence. Have you made your decision? On second thought, perhaps there's more to be learned. I might find some evidence to test their stories. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. I might find some evidence to test their stories. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. No need to hunt, and the camp is full of fresh kills. Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lord did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. 
Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lordk said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No! That's not true! Rolo, I beg you! Shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beak pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here. But your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. You always knew that there was something wrong about her. Spare me your sullen words! My heart is torn. Go. Find something useful to do. I've heard of a safer place than this south of Colchester. Let's you and I go take a look, shall we? Huh? I'm sorry that your people suffer, Rolo. Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. <laughs> That's all I have for now. Find me later. Rolo's men, caged like plump hens.
enough! There's the target! There it is! Let's give the Ravens a blast! Together! You will pay! Dig Get back here! Need your eyes, my friend.
Survey the area, Zulu. Men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted than this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester. On the night of the Lammas Festival.
side was barred. My loins wither with waiting. I know a few things about love. Do you? Or did you hear the chime of my coin purse? Does it matter? No. Not when the village children pelt my door with vegetables, call me old maid and witch. You need someone to protect you from children. Leave your scorn. There is a man. We have been secretly betrothed for years. But his father refuses our union. So you will kidnap him and make it look good. His house is near here, surrounded by red flowers. Oh, wait. I will kidnap him? You will know my love by his red hair. And try not to kill his father. That will put a damper on our happy day. I will roast him a fat hen. Or a stew. Would he like that?
lover from so long ago. Would I? and welcome. This could be very useful. Seems like you're expecting trouble. could help you in your travels. Happy to take this off your hands. an eye for craftsmanship. Glad to replenish your stock. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Bring the strangest things. This is a very good piece. Wise of you to stock up. All done. I'm off. Be well, friend. Last house in Malden. All of it should be here. Sister, is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now, here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? 
I'm looking for your sister at the behest of another. Behest? I've got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. This 
area is off limits. Sunin, guide me. Love all of them. I haven't broken her spirit. Show me what lies ahead. This key 
you should unlock Albedo's cage. were not gentle with me then I will carry you who are you who risked so much to save me a friend of Elrich's is he all right the poor boy not your brother someone else who wishes to rekindle a, a friendship Almost there. Bless the saints! He... Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teeth. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for... I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. 
how it would work between me and him. I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Give her time, Birsten. A passion rekindled in haste will soon fall to embers. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Elleridge, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elleridge, I'd suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Bearston, I cannot believe you would come...
Show me what lies ahead. How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Unleash your war dogs. Set things afire. Bring panic. Act like the barbarians they think us to be. We'll stick their hearts with needles of fear. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Mm -hmm. My head is spinning with the mead and fires. I might even dance a jig or two. Lamus is like honey, luscious and sweet. A night to get lost in the pure joy of life and a good harvest. Fool a child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend! Spritches through me, fiend! Oh, I shall faint from the sheer horror of it all! No se bicho, pay is full of loud. Die! You'll suffer for that! Gonna be the worm! Brother!
Enough to walk, I think, aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing. Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess, it did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors, yet. What will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Avon. You can stand against it. Done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Birsten's will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead! Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. Thunderous hammer! 
That was like the great days. Where I stood sword to sword. We should find Beerston. No doubt he's hunting again. They're even stolen by us mere mortals. Guide me.
good traveler. What seek you? Perhaps I can help. There is the matter of my fee. All right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. Beeston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! What are we hunting now? Ah, there you are. Shall we continue? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong-armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebold. How wondrously strange! Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? Biston, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas. Will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more day. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. table won't fill itself. Need your eyes, my friend. itself. Look at that fat hog. He'll make a delicious roast. They are fearsome beasts, but taste Suck 
this table won't fill itself. Serve my love well, Hog. My bow arm aches. You did well, Eivor. A good hunt, Beston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring yarls and piss-sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beeston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. <laughs>